Google Shopping is a super powerful tool when you wanna try and sell products online. It puts your product in front of people who are searching for what it is that you sell. The only problem is that it puts your product alongside your competitors. So it's your job to try and make your product stand out in those Google Shopping listings so they click yours instead of the competitors. And one of the best ways to do that is to feed your product reviews through your Google Shopping listing so that your product has more reviews than your competitor. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Sync your product reviews from your Shopify store directly through to your Google Shopping listings. Now to do this, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a Google Merchant Center account. You're gonna need a reviews app that's collecting the reviews that can feed into Google. And you need to have at least 50 of those reviews and include both positive and negative reviews. To get started, Google has to approve you to submit these reviews. So it needs to enable it in your Google Merchant Center. And in order to do that, you need to submit a form for them to review and give you that approval. So this is the form here and it's called the Product Ratings Interest Form. So I'm gonna take you through exactly how to set this up so you can get approved. So the first question they ask is, do you work with an approved third-party reviews aggregator? Now, some review platforms are already approved. So if you're using a, a review app that is approved, you can click yes here. And that means that the review app will do this work for you. You don't need to worry about it. But I'm gonna be working with an app called JudgeMe, which is not a approved third-party reviews aggregator, but we can still actually do it. Yes, but I'd like to submit the feed form by a supported partner directly in the Merchant Center myself, okay? Then it asks, what types of products do you collect reviews for? services, physical and or digital products, physical, digital and services. Now we're running an e-commerce business, so we do physical and or digital services. It now asks us, uh, do we have more than 50 reviews? Yes, we do. Now remember, we can't go any further unless we have 50 reviews. So this is the part where we fill in all the details. So it's really important to be as accurate as possible here. Now the merchant name is the name that you have within your merchant center and it needs to directly reflect that name, okay? So I'm headed over to my merchant center and the name of my one is called Dost. So I can go back in and I'm gonna put Dost in here. Then it asks for the merchant center ID. We can copy that from merchant center as well. Then we've got to put in our homepage URL, fill in our details. And then here you just put the name of your company. So I'm gonna do Dose Drinks and then the email address. And then it asks whether or not we use a comparison shopping service. Uh, we can click no and we click submit. So at this stage, it says your email has been sent. Now this can take a little bit of time to be approved. Sometimes it can be approved instantly. Sometimes it can be approved in days. So just keep an eye on your email to go through the approval. I'm gonna go and check my email and see whether it has been approved. Okay, so it looks like we have received that email. It took about five or so minutes to come through. And what we can see here is it's automatically enabled the Merchant Center account, which is awesome. It means that we've done the submission correctly. Now, sometimes you can get another email which asks for more information. So whatever it needs, it's just gonna detail it inside the email there. So just read it and it should help you out. Uh, but great news is this has been enabled so we can go through and do the next step which is submitting the feed. Now if you have a look here it's given you some instructions on how to submit the feed but I had to read through this and they're actually wrong so I'm going to take you through the correct way to do it. So let's go over to our Merchant Center account now and we're going to click your business and we're going to click reviews just here. Now you can see here in my one, I've already got reviews in here. It's because I was testing this out prior to filming, but uh, I'll show you exactly how to do it. Yours is probably going to be blank, but you're going to have this same button here, which is manage product review sources. So we're going to click that one there. And what we're going to do is we're going to click add product reviews. So this is the part where we sync our product review platform through to Google Merchant Center. So Merchant Center can then sync it through to Google Ads. So depending on your platform, it might be a different place to get it, but I'll take you through the three different ways that you can upload your reviews. So the first one is a link to a file. This is my preferred method. This is a direct XML file into your reviews platform. And every time you get a review on Shopify or wherever you're getting your reviews from, they're gonna sync through here automatically and apply to the product. So that's the best way because it's dynamic and it's real time. The other one is whether you upload a file to an SFFT, an SFTP server, uh, or the other one is whether you upload it from your computer. Now, if you upload from your computer, uh, it's gonna be a static file and it's not always gonna get updated. So highly recommend you link to your file. Now, because we're using JudgeMe, I'm gonna head over to my Shopify store. We're gonna go to JudgeMe and we're gonna click Marketing and Social. Then under there, we're gonna click Google and SEO and we're gonna click Google Shopping here and click Manage. In here, we're gonna to have to generate the product review feed and then we're gonna get this XML file here. So we're gonna grab that by clicking Copy. Then we're gonna go back to Google Merchant Center and we're gonna paste that directly into there, okay? And then click continue. So what's happening now is Google Merchant Center is checking that file, it's going through it in depth and it's pulling out all the reviews and copying them across into Merchant Center. It's then getting those reviews and it's trying to match them against products. Once it's done that, then it will know which review stars go to which products. 
Now this takes a little bit of time for that sync to happen. So when it first happens, you're probably gonna see zero uh, updated product reviews. So probably wait five, 10 minutes for it all to sync through, depending on how many reviews you have is probably gonna determine how long it's gonna take. Now I'll show you one that I created earlier so we don't have to sit and wait. Uh, you can see I've got a couple of feeds in here. I might go to the first one that I've done. What we can see here is we've now got 70 reviews uploaded, which is awesome. And I can also see here that they're all recognized and there's no issues found. So if there's any issues or anything with your files, you're not gonna have this little green tick, you're probably gonna have something else. So if there are any issues, drop a comment down below and I'll see if I can help you uh, overcome those issues. So when that's all done, we're then gonna go back now to your business. We're gonna double check our reviews and see whether or not we're enabled. So you can see actually under here, it says status inactive. So what this basically means is this account is still in sort of an approval process. So even though we can upload our reviews and we can sync them and everything like that, Google still needs to verify that you have got real reviews. So this is where a human comes into play. Now I did this about a week ago and I was inactive. So I had a look yesterday to see why I was inactive. Uh, and I emailed Google cause I got pretty impatient and I said, hey, why is it not active? And they said it can actually take two to three weeks to become active. So a human has to look at it. Uh, humans take time. So uh, just be patient if inactive is still there. Now, if four weeks goes past, maybe email Google again and just give them a prod to see what happens. Once it does turn active, what's gonna happen is they're gonna assign those reviews to your products and then they're gonna start showing them on your shopping ads and then we're gonna get a better click-through rate we're gonna get better ads and everyone's gonna be happy now if you enjoyed this video I got two other ones up here that I think are gonna be perfect for you if you're trying to grow your e-commerce business